you. How can you, because we're, as a women, very emotional creatures. And if we don't share what's on our heart and what's on our mind, we're boiling those negative emotions. How can we talk to our men without throwing up on them? Mm -hmm. So that's a question for you. How do you do that? By the way, what a lot of women do, <clears throat> They talk to girlfriends with all of their wonderful emotions and keep the negative to the therapist and then protect the guy. But I'll give you nothing because this is how I protect you. Because I'm so convenient. I will cook, I will clean, and I won't even share my negative emotions. You can talk to girlfriends, right? But how can you talk to him? Give more details. For uh, example, he came to dinner two hours later. You cooked, you did the grocery shopping, you did beautiful candle dinner, you have an anniversary, and he came two hours later. He, he, he's late. Well, how do you talk to him? Yeah, so I'll be like, I'll just flat out admit the emotion right there. Like, I'm disappointed. I was really excited to do this for you, and I wanted, and I say, I share what I wanted, what I was imagining, what I was expecting. Are you attacking me? Are you making me wrong? <laughs> That's what you're trying to say, is it about me? Why did you tell me that I'm not respecting you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sharing how I'm feeling. I'm sharing what I was experiencing. Was By the way, a guy doesn't hear anything. Oh, no. <laughs> he doesn't hear. And my question is why? Hearing, right? Why? Why he's not hearing her? He's just going into, what am I doing wrong? Nobody knows? I'm Strike so glad. Huh? Strike, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, you know like, no, 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 no. Let's hold on. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, we as a women, when we get hurt, when we get upset, when are we trying to fix the problem? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, that's not the way guys function. When they did something wrong, this is not the time to confront them. They're gone. So, he's not hearing you at all. So then the question when? You gotta address this, but not now, but when? <laughs> no, 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 but, but, but Joanna, would you want to have sex if a guy you cook for him for two hours, do you think you will have even sex with him? No, no. I want you to think. I want you to think. When? Huh? No, no. Okay, then I'll, I see. I'm so glad. A guy can really hear you only after he ate. <laughs> you feed them. So you're upset. But you cannot address this problem. You can't. I know you have all of these emotions because when we're upset, we want to address it right away. But you can't. You feed him. He's full. And the moment he ate the last bite, when he does this, oh, that's the time. Then you come next to him and say, honey, by the way, it's not your fault. He needs to hear this, literally. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything right. Then he can hear you. Okay. Two things. Yeah. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. And then you can say, by the way, I was doing this grocery shopping, was cooking. I'm just sad that you couldn't make it at 7 o'clock. It's his fault. But you see how you started it? Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. Huh? And this is what doesn't that you're that's like the ulterior motive, I guess? No, because if you want a guy to really listen to you, hear you, this is how to talk to them. We are emotional creatures. We can be with that. They can. They have this much capacity for emotions. 
Their logic is big, sexual drive is big, but emotions, if we're telling them you're wrong, you know what they want to do? Shut you up or run away. That's what I was saying. When <clears throat> they go immediately into, what did I do? Yeah. Why is this? Why yeah. is she mad? What do I got to yeah. fix? Yeah. But then you know, like if you, so that means that you need to just basically uh, stop your own emotion. No. No, 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 Joanna, stay with me. Okay. No, don't go there. You're creating and putting stuff in the space. Thank you. When you're upset, you had a really bad day. You come to your husband and your boyfriend, and you no, say. No, but still with this dinner situation, the, the one like you know they late, and now I'm supposed to. You know, have this whole dinner we eat, and I'm still fuming, right? Because they late. Like I'm talking about just a particular case. Thank you. you. Let's bring it up. Not so nice at this moment. <laughs> so then I'm like, it's, I'm not connected, right? Because now I need to make room for them because they late. They not. Safe. No, 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 Joanna, stay with me. Stay. Yes. Okay. I just want you know. Thank I'm you. Just Thank you. A little bit because I, 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 I am so glad because right. here again, this is a training part. Part of the training. You said it's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. He now listens to you. And then you say, it really hurt my feelings that you came two hours wrong, uh, late. I cooked, I did the grocery shopping. I washed all of the dishes. I put the flowers. And I was so expecting you to be here for us to celebrate our anniversary. It would have made me so happy if you came at seven o'clock. But in the process, I was really hurt, sad, and even angry with you. You see, you get this upset if you didn't communicate that, and next week you're gonna throw up on him. That's what I'm saying. The calm, yeah. But, being but so you are being authentic. You're communicating. Um, so why are you coming? Why are you coming? Right. So and you're suggesting that we be calm. What is about while he's eating? You go on the balcony. You scream. You get out of the way. You get out of the way. And then you talk to him calmly. I don't know. Well, I think it may be just a matter of, of relationships. You know, like and it's just. You like saying like, you know, hey, I really, I know it's not your fault. Can I just express myself? It's his fault, it is his fault. <laughs> I mean, plain and simple. It is, right? Exactly. Mean, this is just also is making you come exactly. here. I'm struggling with it, so don't I, I, I know, but you, you have to get, you're making him responsible for it. Yeah, but in his language. But in his Clearly, language. If we have an agreement, we're going to meet at 7 o'clock. Right? An agreement, not an expectation, an agreement. Then I expect him or we agree that he will be there. And if he's not there, then I'm sorry. I mean, especially if I'm dating him, then that tells me already, do I want to be with someone who disrespects my time? Maybe he's not the right guy. Now again, I don't have to necessarily get upset about it, right? But I can make my choices based, based on that. So I get your stuff about masculine, feminine, and we all are in a flow at all times. But then at the same time, I do believe men have to be emotionally intelligent and mature as well as women. And then it really doesn't matter because then it's a dance. Sometimes he's feminine, sometimes I'm masculine, vice versa. Yes. It's a dance. It is. It is, Iris. And thank you for bringing this up. Again, the reason why women should not jump in bed with a guy in the first two, three, fourth date or few weeks, or the longer she can wait, the better, to understand, does he respect her time? Does he come on time on the date? This is part of it. And it's like, no, this is, he did this, he did the second time, next. And if she's sleeping with him, she's so attached, she now wants to fix him and make him adjust to her and make him emotionally intelligent, but he doesn't have it. But also, let's say he's a husband, and he did it, and he explains why he did it. Because we in the United States have something that typically in Eastern Europe or in India, it, the qualities of a personality is somewhat different. Because the moment we put principles above the relationship, we're killing the closeness with the person. For example, I'm sorry, Anahita, I'll use you an example. So Anahita did a beautiful flyer yesterday. I was so grateful that she took time to create the flyer for today's meeting. I open it up and I see a couple of errors in the title. 
but it makes my heart smile. Because here, I would confront her and say, Anahita, could you please fix? The title has a mistake. And then to me, my principles that it should be correct is above my relationship to her. Do you get it? And so here, we have to choose. What's more important? The principle of perfection or integrity has to be on time or a relationship. Well, I get that his boss had a car accident and he had to stay at work two hours longer to finish the project. And his phone died, he couldn't even text or call. Do you see where we have to have yeah. <clears throat> relationship? So what about his fault then? If, if that was the situation, why is he charged like yeah, but when we're charged up, we're not even listening yeah. to what's going on because we're inside of all of our emotions, right? But this is the continuing your own spiritual growth, too. You have an understanding 